mentor and a new head coach of men's basketball. While the ability to teach, game plan, recruit, and connect with our players and fans were top priorities, first and foremost, we were looking for a person of high integrity and a proven winner. We got everything we wanted. From the time I first assembled the pool of candidates, Mike Rhodes topped the list. He was the focus of our search from day one, and we developed a strong relationship over the course of the last 14 days. Mike has won everywhere he's been. From middle school to college to his coaching career, he's a winner. He's also a person, a great person and educator who believes strongly in family, which is why they sit alongside him today. I'm very confident Mike will create a basketball family on our campus as well. Before I turn this over to Coach Rhodes, I'd like to thank a few people. All of the people who helped me with this search. Colleagues across the country, our Rice basketball alumni, our current staff, highlighted by Lou Reno, who has played a key role in the transition. Senior Executive Athletic Director Rick Mello, who handled the entire administrative side of our transition and also assisted with the search. Executive Projects Coordinator Kelly Stump, who managed the flow of inbound information during the search, and it was heavy. Our phenomenal president, David Lebron, who supported my efforts during the transition, the search, and the contract phases. And basketball alumnus and board chair Bobby Tudor, the best recruiter on the planet, for his efforts in helping to bring this home. Now it's my great pleasure to introduce Mike Rhodes as the new head coach of the Rice Owls. Thank you. I want to first thank President LeBron and Joe and Bobby and Rice University for this incredible opportunity to be your head basketball coach. Thank you. I would also like to thank Shaka Smart and the tremendous young man at VCU who provided my family and I with an incredible experience, lasting friendships, and the opportunity to help move a special program forward. I will forever be grateful for our time at, at VCU and of, of course Randolph-Macon College. My family is here with me, and you'll see very quickly we like to do everything as a family on and off the court. My wife Jody, my son Logan, my daughter Porter, and the chase man there at the end. <laughs> I love basketball and I love helping young men pursue their basketball dreams. This is a passion that I've had for a long time and is burning very strong today. After today's press conference, this is not about me. This is a decision to move forward to build a basketball culture where we will all be proud of is about the players right there. Fellas, we are going to have fun. Our energy and enthusiasm is going to be awesome. We're going to work. It's not going to be easy. But together, it's going to be rewarding, and I promise you it's going to be worth it. We will become a family by building a bond every day with our effort and our approach. We came here because we're going to win. We came here because we're going to build a family. I was raised in a small coal region town in Pennsylvania that I am so proud of. I was raised by two loving parents that stressed to my brother, sister, and I that you can sh strive to be great in many things, that your dedication to academics was above all else, but that you can also balance life to achieve great things in other areas. Student athlete was used daily in my house. It was demanding. It was also who we were, and it was with no excuses. And Rice University is the greatest, greatest example of a student athlete. I've lived it. I believe it, and we are at a place where we will show it off. This is a place where you can have the strongest of academics and cherish the successes of an athlete. Molding a young student athlete into a competitive, successful, and intelligent person to lead in our world is our mission. And yes, as your basketball coach, I'm going to do my part. We will build strong relationships with the campus and the community. We will follow the lead of the successes of Coach Graham's baseball teams and of course, Coach Bayless football team. We will play an exciting style of basketball many will want to see. Our guys will have a lot of fun at, uh, going after people, fearing no one, and playing with a toughness and a confidence that will make you proud. We have a plan. 
and we will follow it daily no matter how tough the day, the practice, or the game may be. Our plan, our process will take care of the result, and we will believe in that every day. We are going to build something special here. We are going to do it with fun, hard work, and we're going to do it with a special bond. It's time to build, it's time to work. It's time for all of us to be excited about Rice basketball because we sure are. And I'd like to say uh, to my family, to everybody, that we are so excited to be here and uh, it's time to get to work. Thank you very much. from the members of the media. And I hope that's the last speech I ever make here. <laughs> Coach, can you talk about what you took away from the VCU experience and how similar your system will look to uh, Shocker? Well, it's just such, such a fun... Uh, what I, I loved about working for Shaka and, and coaching there is, is we just we kept evolving. We, we kept after it all the time. We, we kept changing our style of play. Now, everybody knows that it's a Havoc style at VCU. Uh, I would, we definitely want to play like that. We want to, we want to play fast. We want to go after people. We want to wear people out. Uh, but it takes a lot of time to build that and uh, create that culture. But I think the guys are excited about it um, because they already know from meeting with them last night that, that you know we're going after people and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. So there's a lot of things from VCU that we're going to take and from Coach Smart. And you know the best thing about working there and, and, and being a part of that was. He created such great morale in the program and on campus, and people wanted to come watch our team there. And uh, that's what we're going to do here. And uh, it's part about being a family and, and just continually every day working hard to build it. Coach, the uh, lifeline of a, uh, pro any pro college program is about recruiting here in the Houston area. How much are you? How much are you familiar with the area as far as getting that kid to? make a decision of coming to Rice. Well, I want to get to a point in a, not just Houston, but in the state of Texas that if they're going to leave, it's going through Rice. And who wants to leave a place like this? You can get to one of the best educations in the world, and we're going to play a fun style of basketball, and in 10, 20, 30 years from now, you're going to come back and be proud of what you built. And if that's your hometown, it's even greater. Uh, since since we got close to uh, making, this, making this happen, I've talked to a lot of people in Houston. And uh, I can't wait to uh, work the guys out tomorrow, and then I'm going to go out and see some people. And, and we're going we're gonna to dig in the backyard, and we're going to go out and find people in Houston and all over Texas to be very proud to be, be a Rice Al basketball player. Absolutely. Mike, you kind of said that that's the right situation, right time for the job. Why now? Why Rice? What, 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 you mentioned the vision the other day when we talked to you on the phone. What was that vision that, that chose so beyond? Well, I, I want to have a basketball program that I'm the head coach at that believes high in academics and believes in high-level basketball. We're going to do that here. And I, I, I was fortunate to have a lot of people call VCU when I was there and, and, and I had opportunities to sit down with a lot of other schools. But I was excited from, from the first time I talked to Joe that you know, I was raised a, as a student athlete, like I said, and, and academics were number one. And uh, you didn't do the other stuff if you, if you weren't good at that. And uh, you know, my, my, my parents taught us that. And uh, that was very, very important to us. And that's what you do at Rice. You have to be a great student, and now we're going to be a great basketball team. What is step one in getting your system in place? Working these guys out and, 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 and getting them to understand that you got to work hard every day. About getting better all the time. You, I, you either going forward, or you're going back. You're not staying the same. And we, I want to get these guys. And I want I want them to understand our culture, and I want them to push each other and hold each other accountable. Let's just continually get better. If you get better, good things happen. It seems like that always happens. So we're just going to work really hard in everything we do, and I'm going to hold these guys to a high standard. I think they want that. I was spending time with them last night, and this morning at 6 a.m. Uh, they were excited. I saw some great energy, and, and we got to go after it. And uh, no one's going to give us anything, so we got to go take it. What is your style of player uh, in terms of fitting what you want to do um, uh, here? In terms of that, well, you know, that that varies, of course. You, you want the best mm -hmm. basketball players we can get that are going to fit into the culture 
of this university and, and our program. Uh, number one is I'm recruiting good guys. Um, I'll take a little less talented player if he's a great guy with great character because you can win with those guys. Uh, we've, we've proven that. I've proven that everywhere I've been. That's not going to change. We're going to recruit great people. Um, if my, I want my three kids around our program every day, and I want them around great kids. And I have a great sense of these guys in the last two days. Uh, they're, they're great kids, and we're looking forward to that. But we want to try to get kids that are very versatile, that, that uh, love basketball, and that, that want to be here to get a great education, but they want to play women's basketball. Passing that one on. <laughs> yeah, I, I, for the last 14 days, uh, I've done nothing but search for a basketball coach uh, and then button up the contract. So I haven't read much about the, the uh, labor board ruling, and so I'm going to refrain from comment until I have, a, have, had, have had a chance to digest that. Joe, you were a, a Division Three AD. Uh, he's been a Division Three coach. Any parallels there from your discussions in terms of maybe how you both have come up and maybe how that, you know, so to speak, hit it off when, in the process? When I started looking at Mike's background, uh, I noticed some parallels to mine. Uh, we both grew up in, in families where uh, education was important. My dad was a high school athletic director. His father was a principal and football coach. Uh, the Division Three background was not lost on me. Uh, I know what Division Three is. I know how hard you have to work to be good there. I didn't take that experience that he had in 10 years at Randolph-Macon lightly. When I saw a guy who won 197 games in 10 years and became a head coach at age 25, and not only that, but took a great program, but took it to a different level during his 10 years, that was very attractive. And then you couple that with being the top assistant at uh, one of my favorite programs in VCU, and uh, it, was, it was a world beater for me. Uh, and then I started to have conversations with him I knew this was the guy I wanted. Mike, we've heard you're kind of hands-on and practical, either it's, whether it's, I think Shaka called you his best practice player. And going back, uh, Coach Flannery said that he's still bringing you up at Bucknell, where, hey guys, I know this guy named Mike Brogan, he brought you